It's funny how the internet and social media works these days. So a couple weeks ago, I posted to my Instagram account a couple photos of this beer that I had. And on one of the photos, I captioned it with, what's your beer of choice? And one of my good friends commented, Abita beer, but he tagged the Abita beer Instagram account in his comment. And I know how much he loves Abita, he's always raving about it. So I playfully commented back, then send me some. And literally less than a day later, I woke up to a like from Abita Beer on that photo. I had a follow from Abita Beer, and I had a message from Abita Beer. And that message said, hey, what kind of beer do you like? We'll send you some. So I answered, I told him which beer I liked. And then a week later, I have all of this. So no, before I get started, this video is not sponsored by Abita Beer. Yes, they did send me this beer, but it's not sponsored by Abita Beer. So I'm just gonna have some fun this weekend and I haven't done product photography in a long time and really been able to flex my creative muscles. So I'm gonna do that this weekend. So I have a couple ideas for all of these and I know this King Cake isn't a beer, it's a soda, but I really like this purple background here. So I have a purple sweep and it's the king cake. And I know it's not Mardi Gras season, but I was able to find two king cakes online and they just got delivered yesterday, I think. So I have those in the fridge over there. And that's the plan. I'm gonna cut up the king cake and kind of like composite them around this bottle. I think that would look really cool. And then we have our PB and jams. Now to my understanding, this is a limited uh, edition. So I have a red sweep and a yellow sweep that I'm gonna put this beer on. And yes, I have some bread, I have peanut butter, and I have strawberry jam. And I'm gonna make some PB and J's. I'm gonna cut them up in like the triangles or little squares or something. And I'm gonna composite those around this beer as well. And then we have the purple haze. And I just realized, I have the purple background, but I just realized this morning that it says raspberry lager. So I need to get shit. I have to go get raspberries. You know, this goes to show that there's always going to be one thing that you forget when you're preparing for a film shoot or anything like that. And sometimes that key thing is going to be a key ingredient to what you're trying to do. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna head to the store and get some raspberries. It's kind of raining on me a little bit, you know? It's kind of funny, not really funny, but you wouldn't know that a week ago in Texas, we had like several inches of snow and I'm sure everyone heard about all of the rolling blackouts in Texas and everything. And thankfully I wasn't affected as bad as others, but you wouldn't be able to tell that anything happened because it's like 70 degrees right now. It's currently raining on me, but everything's fine, you know? So crossing the street. Okay. But it's just, it's just nuts how quick the weather changes in Texas where one week it's snowing and it's four degrees outside and now it's 70 degrees and I'm walking to the store in a short sleeve shirt getting rained on. It makes, it makes no sense. So, but I'm gonna go get this stuff and uh, we'll see you uh, back in the social room. All right, I just got back from the store. I got a beer glass and I got some raspberries. We are running way behind right now. So I haven't even eaten lunch. I'm probably not gonna eat lunch today, but I'm gonna start setting up and we'll check back soon. All right, so I just got everything set up and the first thing I did was kill every light in this room and I'm running those two soft boxes back there. So if I walk over here, then I have a light on this side and a light on this side. So I'm gonna be running a cross lighting setup and that should make the seamless look, well, seamless. And I threw the red up there, so obviously I'm gonna be running with the PB and jams first. And my plan for each one of these bottles is to do the glam shots of each bottle. And then I'm gonna make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then I'll do the king cake slices and everything like that. And I'm gonna take photos of each and every one of those. So they're all gonna be photo assets. So mainly when I pull this in post, all of them are gonna be composited photos, which I think is gonna be the easiest way. It's a lot of work on the editing side, but that's fine, I'm used to that. So right now I'm actually gonna take a little lunch break, I'm starving, and then I'm gonna get going on these glam shots and we'll check back soon.
Okay, so I've already done the product shots of this guy and I'm getting ready to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I've already spread the peanut butter and I'm gonna give you the single most important hack that I've ever learned in my entire adult life and that is how to spread jam on bread. And now you don't use a knife to spread jam. You use a spoon and the reason why you do that is you can scoop the jam or jelly and then you take the back of the spoon and you spread it around on the bread and that way the jelly and the jam just doesn't fall off the knife. So you gotta use a spoon. So that's the single most important life hack that I've ever learned in my entire 28 years. You're welcome. Let's, let's shoot these sandwich shots. Peanut butter down. Okay, real quick, I was setting up the king cake soda sweep and I put the bottle out there and then I was going to the fridge to get the king cakes out. I ordered two of them and they're right in here. And as I was getting the cakes out, I got an email on my phone saying that the Mardi Gras babies showed up. Now, if you don't know this, then a king cake always comes with like a little baby in the middle and the king cakes that I ordered didn't have a baby for some reason. So I had to order the Mardi Gras babies online and they weren't supposed to get in until Monday and I got an email from Amazon saying that they showed up today. So I'm actually gonna go check my mail real quick to see if those babies are there, and then we'll get ready to take this photo and everything. So check back in a second. They were there, and this is by far the creepiest thing that I've ever ordered online, but now I have a pack of 20 Mardi Gras babies. So I was worried that I was gonna have to take these on Monday by themselves, but I'm really glad that they came in today because now I can take it under the same lighting scenario as everything else. It just makes compositing all this together easier. So I've got the babies and I have the two king cakes over here. So I've got the babies there and I have two king cakes. So I got two of them just in case if one of them got damaged and it allows me to choose the different colors and make sure I get the right pieces that look the best. And then anything that's left over, we'll just eat. So right now, I'm gonna start with this bottle. And this is a lot like the peanut butter and jelly one. It's like rinse and repeat from here on out. I had the lighting set up right. And now all I have to do is take pictures of the bottle and then I'll take individual pictures of the cake and then composite them all together in post. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've reached a dilemma with the purple haze. Now, the idea with the purple haze was to do it overhead where it's laying flat, and I wanted certain pieces of the paper to wrap over the bottle, and then I was gonna have raspberries all around it, but that would involve me having to change my entire setup here to be an overhead rig whenever I have the camera right here as a front shot, and I still have to do a yellow paper right there. So 
I'm thinking I'm just going to, instead of change my entire setup, I might just take these photos front on and then try to composite them and edit it to where it looks like it's an overhead shot instead of having to change everything around just for one shot. So I think I'm gonna do that, but I have the raspberries and I think I can make that work. It's just gonna be the same type of thing that I have been doing. It's just a lot more compositing work than I wanted, but it is what it is. So it'll work out. All right, let's get going. So we just finished the purple haze shoot. I didn't record any BTS on that one because my BTS camera died and there was nothing new on that one anyway, but we have fresh batteries for the BTS camera and we're about to do yellow and we're gonna do a pour shot with this guy. Now the tricky thing about doing pour shots is I don't know how long that foam is going to last and how much it's gonna rise. That's something that I learned with the black lager shoot that I did and that foam is pretty inconsistent. So I'm curious to see how much this is gonna foam. So I'm gonna set my camera to a burst shot and hopefully I can capture everything that I need. But I have like six of these, so I should be okay. I just can't use more than four of them. So yeah, so I'm about to do that and then we'll be done and I'll be in the editing. I'm not gonna record any editing stuff. I'm just gonna show you the final product, but hopefully everything works out and Wish me luck. <sighs> and we are done, finally. I got that last beer shot. And I've done all the beers and all the soda. I did all of the colors. And all I have to do now is pull this into Photoshop. And hopefully it turns out the way I have it picturing in my head. But I have no idea. I might run into some issues. Hopefully I don't. But it took all day to do this. I think I started at 11 o'clock this morning. And it's currently 7.20 p.m. So it's been a day. And I'm pretty exhausted. And that's mainly because I'm doing this by myself. I mean, we have COVID still going on and I'm trying to stay socially distanced so I don't really feel super comfortable having anyone around me while I'm doing all this stuff. So that's why it took so long, but hopefully the edit goes well and maybe I should do another video doing a taste test of all of these. So we'll see, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.